Before we get into this show today, man, I just want y'all to go out, YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever you listen to music on, and check out my boy The Anti. That's hashtag The Anti. New single, Cut Em Off. And man, ain't this one of them smooth, cool grooves for the real players out there, man. Make sure y'all go check that out today. Let's go. So, I'm going to give y'all a jewel. I'm going to drop a nice jewel for y'all. Um, ways to own everything, but own nothing at the same time. So, in other words, you don't own nothing, but you're going to be controlling everything, basically. Check this out, man. This is a jewel for the day. You might have to watch this video a lot of different times just to get the understanding of what's going on here. When you get the trust, if you take all of your assets that you own now, your personal home, your rentals, if you Airbnb, I mean, all that stuff, and you sell it into the trust and the trust now owns it, if you don't own your personal residence and your water heater breaks, whose expense is that? The trust, right? Because the trust owns the asset. Your job as the trustee is to manage and maintain and protect those assets. So you're gonna use now tax deferred money because remember the trust owns the businesses, right? So now all the money is coming in through real estate now under the EIN of the trust, not your EIN of your LLC. Remember the government cannot tax entities that it did not create. That's why we're able to defer the money inside the trust. Well, now you get all of these benefits of write-offs because you don't own anything anymore when you get the trust if you take hey always remember this though don't blend in be you know stay in your lane there's no traffic in your lane you know what i'm saying don't blend in be you know stay in your lane there's no traffic in your lane you know what i'm saying don't blend in be you know stay in your lane there's no traffic in your lane